This is the demo for our scan to ship application, uh, which is simply a uh, minor customization to the existing handheld shipping screen. And what the biggest difference that this one does, this allows you to generate an entire pack right from the handheld, and it takes care of all of it. It vastly automates the way you do things with barcoding. We can use the uh, handheld demo menu here to demo this. This is just a um, little fake handheld screen just so you can see what it might look like out on one of your devices. You go to shipping and receiving, outbound, confirm customer ships. This is the screen that we tweaked here. And on the first screen, first thing you're going to look at is uh, where it's asking you to scan in the sales order. So um, if you have a sales order and you want to start a brand new pack, you would scan this in here. Um, otherwise, if you had an existing pack that you want to continue on, you'd use the resume button. We'll come back and do that in a moment. We'll start with a brand new sales order. So I've got one called 5315. So after you scan that in, uh, what it's going to do is it's going to bring you up to the next screen where it's telling you which pack number it's generated and it's going to ask you to scan in your line and release. This works exactly like standard Epicor where you tell the sales order initially, it pulls in all the header information, then it moves you out to the line where you can tell it, again, sales order, line, release, to, to tell it exactly which part you're shipping. So you don't need to be shipping necessarily the exact same sales order even at this level. Uh, you can pretty much scan in what, um, any sales order along with the same customer. Um, we've had to come up with our own little barcode format for so you can get the uh, sales order line and release all into a single barcode. And the format of that is all pasted on here. It's the sales order, tilde, the line, tilde, the release. Now I actually pasted that in. Typically you're going to scan or you're going to scan that. It's going to type that in. It's going to automatically hit enter for you. From here it's going to bring you to the screen where you tell it what the individual things you're shipping are. You can see your required quantity here. How many do you scanned in? And you also got the part number up here. So at this point, what you're going to do is just go through and scan in whatever piece of information tells you that you've, you've got a uh, you know a valid scan. What I've got it configured for right here is it's using serialized parts. So each of these parts I'm going to scan in are a serial number, and each one counts for a quantity of one. If you're looking at something that's lot controlled, um, what we'd do is have it where you'd scan it in and it looks at what the lot quantity is, and that's the quantity that it completes. Uh, but we can really tweak it to scan in whatever you might need here um, to, to enter your quantity. We've had some users that even have a UD table where we're scanning in, it's looking up a reference in that UD table, and it's picking a quantity out of there. But again, I'm just using standard serialized numbers here, so you scan them in, and as it takes them, it clears it and increments the quantity down here. So I'm going to paste in one more. Okay, so now I've completed my line quantity. Now we do have a few validations to mention at this point. Uh, we do have validations on these serial numbers. Um, so if I was to just type in something or scan something incorrect, it's going to tell me that's an invalid serial number. Um, we can also, uh, we also do part validation. So if I were to scan in a serial number for a different part, it's also going to realize that that's an invalid serial number for this part that I'm shipping. And the last thing is it also remembers if I'm trying to scan in the same serial number more than once. This 18 I'd used earlier, and it told me it was a duplicate, tells me it was a duplicate scan. So at this point, um, I'm done with this line, I'll go ahead and hit complete, and I'll go ahead and complete the order here, and I'll go ahead and escape out. And I'm going to show you what the pack that got created was. So if we look at this pack, um, we see that it's not shipped yet. We can control whether or not you want it to automatically mark, be marked as shipped or not, but we by default have it where you still have to have somebody come in here and review it and decide before they actually push it out the door. We see the line that got pulled in. And if I go to the serial numbers here, I'll see the two serial numbers I've selected. 
Now, you can obviously do more than one line if you wanted to scan in multiple different order line releases, you would see all of them listed down here. One other option that we have is to resume an existing pack. So if I was logged in here, you can use this resume button to load up that pack that you're currently working on. So you might want to go back in there and add additional lines to it, or you might want to complete additional lines for it. So uh, line, add line two on this one. I might scan that in, and I need to tell it quantities that I want to scan out. So that's um, it's a very straightforward screen, um, but it's uh, definitely something that if you are looking for this sort of way to automate the process of scanning in the shipments, and you already have the handheld screens, it's a nice way to go about doing it.